you're welcome in today's video i'll be showing how i made fish roll so in a clean pot put your fish wash very well spice up the way you want yes just do it the way you spice your meat just go ahead if you want to add your onion anything you want to add please go ahead and add it just the way you want it spice it up and you put to boil yeah cook for a little while and you go ahead and of the heat if you're new to my channel this is the first time of watching my video you're welcome to my channel so when it's ready remove the water and your set okay 500 grams of flour add half tablespoon full of baking powder to this recipe we're making fish roll i'm not using yeast that's why i'm using half tablespoon full of baking powder so that it will rise very well so i'm adding in the sugar and salt and cinnamon and i will also mix together and i will go in with the butter one thing you need to know if you want to use your yeast please add half teaspoon teaspoon of baking powder and one te teaspoon of yeast will be okay for this 500 grams so so after mixing very well i'll go in with one egg yes and i'll mix very very well and i will use my water here you feel free to use milk if you want till i form a beautiful dough please if your dough is sticking add more flour if it's not sticking it's okay but make sure the dough is soft because this is fish roll i don't want you to after frying it to look so dry no i need it to be very soft inside sometimes yeast also help in making your making your fish roll soft but here i'm using enough baking powder and i'm making sure my dough is coming out soft you can see it's too soft so i'm sprinkling little flat to reach and i'll go in and mix well okay for the filling i will just allow it to rest for a while so for the filling here debone your fish properly make sure there is no bone so that you will not have any interruption when you are enjoying your fish roll i'm using my carrot grated carrot onion and that's all for this so in a clean pot add little oil go in with your onion feel free to add a little pepper salt maggie like i said anything about spices i don't like mentioning because everyone loves spices differently so feel free to spice the way you want but i'm adding just salt seasoning cube pepper that's only what i'm using for this recipe i just want to make it simple so stir very well and i will go in with my seasoning cube I'll first add in this the pepper I'll be using. I'm not adding much because I don't want my daughter to reject this. So the carrots. Lastly, I'll be adding the fish. Yes, the mashed fish. That's what we'll be adding. Here is our mashed fish. So I'll be adding it last. Mix thoroughly and you set aside for the maintenance if you're new to this channel this is your first time of watching my video you're welcome to progressive recipe i cook i bake i decorate cakes i do different pastries i know you will love i have more than 500 videos in this channel feel free to explore and enjoy because i know you will love all the videos i have here so feel free to enjoy and don't forget to subscribe like if you're new please subscribe because subscription is free just for you to be getting a lot of my new worst video for this fish roll recipe i'm repeating it again with commercial 
way as in, as in a commercial way the one you can make in a bigger quantity for bigger quantity or commercial facial so i know you don't like or you will not want to make such video so make sure you subscribe make sure you open your notification bell make sure you like this video because i'm coming back again with so many recipes i know you will enjoy okay right now i share out my dough into two and i'm spreading it out it's time to cut yes there are different ways you can design your fish roll so i'm just doing this method the next video i'll be dropping for fish roll for the commercial fish roll i'll be doing another method so that anyone you love go for it but one thing is certain the recipes are still the same just a little twist yeah it's just a little twist but the feeling everything is still the same so whenever you're watching my video concentrate and don't miss anything because you might fall in love with the other recipe or this recipe okay you can see what i'm doing take your time to roll out like i said although it's pretty soft so we are handling it with care if you are a baker or if you are a chef please one thing is certain you don't keep long necks i saw one question online somebody asking is it good to cook in the kitchen or to be baking with long nails please if you know you do this for business i don't have business with long nails i'm being sincere with you i was a food and not student in school and we are told don't keep long nails in the kitchen so for you keeping long nails in the kitchen is not good especially when you do this every pretty day when cooking is your thing when you have passion for cooking i don't think you have anything to do with long nails so that so generously adding your filling and you roll out close with water or your egg wash any one available feel free and you cut you can feel free to measure if you want to get the measurement right feel free to measure it out and you start frying in a medium heat oil yes make sure you have heated this oil for a while before you start frying so that your fish roll will not soak oil so right now make sure you reduce the heat to medium heat for it to cook right inside so that is that i'll still go back for the last one the same process i'll still repeat and i'll continue please if you have not liked my video at this point please give me thumbs up go ahead and like feel free to comment if you have feel free to ask questions So when you have that pure golden brown, feel free to remove it immediately. Look at that. Looking so pretty and beautiful. Like my video. Like, 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 like. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so, so much for watching. Just look at the inside. Oh my God. Looking so pretty. Thanks a million for watching. Bye.